What's up everybody? I'm Morgan Crosby. Welcome to Cars and Crosby. I have an awesome informative video for you today. We're going to be unwrapping the interior of a C8 Corvette from the factory and also investigating all the little clues that may be on your Corvette telling us a little bit about the very short history your Corvette may have had. Before we get into that, I do want to talk about some safety things as well. As you can see, the Corvettes have got protective um, covers on the steering wheel and the seats. We also have a couple of safety measures that we do at the dealership here to make sure that we are protecting your Corvette as much as possible. One of the first things that I do when I'm getting into your Corvette is I roll down the windows. Another nice thing is, is we have a convertible top. I won't do that at all times just because um, you're touching a lot of surfaces and especially if there's still stuff in the back, we won't want to do that, but we want to create an open air environment. We don't want to have um, anything that I may um, be uh, passing out on the surfaces. We do also sterilize um, these vehicles. Uh, we also make sure that we change all these protective coverings when we're passing it on from, from team to team. So when I'm done in this department, which is sales, unwrapping the Corvette, we are going to be putting on a fresh new um, seat uh, steering cover and also seat cover. Um, we have tons of them here, so we want to make sure that uh, when it gets passed on to the service team, um, there's a new set of coverings on it, and then when it goes to the detailing team, um, that they're the last people to touch the vehicle before you are. Um, Let's get to the fun stuff though. We're gonna start unwrapping uh, the Corvette. There's a lot of very cool uh, stuff that's on here. And one of the first pieces that we can investigate on the Corvette is a note that's on here from the factory about these seat covers. As you can see here, it says that the dealer must remove this cover and also a nice little eco component that it's a minimum of 25% uh, recycled. So um, this is my first look at Sky Cool Gray. This is actually the seat color that I wanted to get on my interior, but I knew that with the amount of people that were gonna be in mine, um, there was a test vehicle that went around or a CTE media vehicle um, that was in this color combination that some of you fortunate people may have been able to see. And I just thought that this Elkhart Lake on Sky Cool Gray uh, was just such a beautiful combination um, these are the upgraded seats with the beautiful carbon fiber tub in them um, really really beautiful contrasts of colors and that perforated leather stitching for your ventilated seats also gives it quite a beautiful design so absolutely immaculate amount of detail in the um, seats on this vehicle um, on here you'll see that we have a door sill cover and then the also um, on the uh, the rocker panels we want to make sure that we leave these on at, until the very last stage this also says on a dealer must remove and these are probably the last thing that I take off because I don't want any horror stories happening where some work boot or something like that was to scuff this luckily though this is a replaceable component because there is also an option where you can get this illuminated so um, I'm not saying that that's gonna be uh, my insurance policy but if that was ever to happen we would obviously replace this because we want to make sure that the customer is getting an immaculate one new now this one is very very cool and I appreciate this one more than a lot of them because this is where a lot of the times somebody's shoe is gonna hit this beautiful leather um, component on the three LTs this is leather wrapped in the Napa and that's a, a, a full grain leather so uh, it's very vulnerable to maybe a rock or some stuff that would be on your shoe and you can see why on the higher trim levels especially that's important but we want to make sure that we do it on all trim levels so that's um, on there and we will not be removing that until the very last part of detail so I'm unwrapping these seats um, I'm gonna take that one off as well and then after that I'm gonna put on um, these after I'm done touching everything with a new seat protective cover and then also a steering wheel cover And if there was a manual vehicle, they have a shifter knob cover as well um, Let's go over to the passenger side now and see a lot more things that we can do to investigate it um, Kooky little grammar on this. It's interesting to build the thoroughbred of sports cars um, This is one of the build sheets that tells you a lot of stuff about this Corvette um, there's a couple of things on here uh, that I quite like to, to pass along. This has got tape on it and that's because it would have been taped to the front of the Corvette and the person on the line uh, would have scanned this UPC code right here um, and then they would have put the component on making sure that the system knew um, that the um, that the Corvette had the right components on it. First little Easter egg that we're gonna point out, if you look for the color here, which is Elkhart Lake Blue, there is the alphanumeric code that we have, but it says Rhythm and B, which I can only imagine stands for Rhythm and Blues being 
a blue Corvette. So uh, really interesting. There it is actually right there, rhythm and blue. Um, I've never really seen um, why they did that, but on a lot of different colors, they actually have some old school names for the colors. Um, for example, I had Watkins Glen Gray and they used to call it Son of a Gun Gray. So it's just really interesting if you really go back into the history of GM, how long some of these colors have been around and the old homages and nicknames that they would have had that have passed through or leaked through while they're doing uh, these new vehicles in the 2020 model year. Um, I'm also going to go uh, into here and uh, store all of these sheets. We want to make sure that we have every single piece that comes with the Corvette ready for the new owner to be able to take. Inside of here, you have your owner's manual. Um, it's a nice leather, la leather wrapped booklet um, with a bunch of different stuff inside of it. Um, in the past, we used to have these in the trunk uh, with the new C8s. They're now in the front. Um, so we're going to make sure that all of that is ready to go for the new owner to be able to read. And then we put these all in here as well to make sure that during the detailing process um, that these sheets do not get too damaged. We want to make sure that if someone was wanting to laminate these, that they can do so with relative ease. Um, the window sticker is an absolute skill and an art to be able to remove. Um, thank God we can also order one if we damage it from the Bowling Green production facility. And even further than that, if you were wanting to go and get it... Um, uh, laminated or even put into a plaque you can do that as well at the National Corvette Museum uh, talk to Sally uh, and she'll be able to help you out and then if you're also ordering the VV4 option you're gonna be talking to Shane or I'm gonna be talking to Shane uh, about getting your uh, personalized plaque which is 26 characters long let's investigate further into this Corvette we're gonna turn it on and check the odometer you'll see that on this 12 inch dash information display we've got our nice coverings here and also on our oleophobic uh, center console display screen here. We also have one here. I like to keep these on as long as possible. On this one, we've got eight kilometers. So eight kilometers, if you convert that over, that's around three miles. The uh, length of time that your Corvette from the start of production to the uh, back of the, the Jack Cooper truck is exactly three miles. So you will never see any less than that. Um, that's the amount of distance that your Corvette has to travel to go through the entire Corvette production process. Um, if you see more on that, that's not a bad thing. There's a very stringent quality control process on these Corvettes and they also randomize it based on colors, trim levels, so that they have an even spread amongst all the different types of trim levels and specifications, what the quality control levels are like. That really makes a lot of sense if you think about it. They're wanting to randomize it and make sure that nothing is leaking through um, that could be um, hurting the process of your first impression with your Corvette. We always wanna make sure that we are giving you the best possible experience. We understand that this is probably a milestone or a very special occasion, and we wanna make sure that that special occasion starts off with a great first impression. So if you see that there's more kilometers on your Corvette, do not be alarmed. That is because we are making sure that everything on your Corvette was perfect for when you get to see it. Um, we're gonna go through a couple more things in the trunk of the vehicle. Um, other than that, we, we really don't have a lot more to talk about. There is a knee pad that normally goes right here. I was a bad guy and took that off on mine. And then on this side, you'll also see where the other ones are for where we wanna to touch the doors when we're opening and closing it. So I'm pretty much finishing here. Once I park it, I'm gonna be putting the seat covers and, and the steering wheel protections on it to make sure that the next team is okay with it. And you'll also see that um, we have all the components that I've already laid out in the back here, such as uh, your, your license plate bracket mounts, your security cargo covers, your splitter, and then also your mats are all rolled out nicely in there as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We have plenty of awesome vehicles that are gonna be coming through the pipes and the production process. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. I'm Morgan Crosby and happy motoring.